Oh, What's up, gang? I have not been on the vlog in a while, but welcome back to my channel. Um, y'all, it's hot as hell. The weather is bipolar. We went from fall, cold weather, to it being hot today. So I just got back from the grocery store because we needed groceries, and the grocery store was packed. And the grocery store was hot. They ain't even had an air on in the grocery store. Come on now. I'm trying to wear the mess walking around the grocery store. But anyways. I just got back from the store. I am about to go ahead and um, cook dinner. We have a stir fry today. Chicken teriyaki stir fry. And I'm making it from scratch. Hopefully I don't fuck it up. But anyways. On um, to another note. Um, I lost my train of thought. What the? Okay, anyways y'all, um, I haven't been on the vlog for a while, um, I can give you a little update. I did start my, um, weight loss thing, I started that three weeks ago, and pretty much what I'm doing is pretty much counting calories. I'm watching what I eat, watching what I intake, and I don't go over 1200 calories per day. I have not started officially working out or exercising yet. They just opened the gyms back. However, the gym at work isn't open yet and I don't have a gym membership outside of work. So I am probably gonna have to incorporate working out at home. But I have not done that yet. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Out of the whole three weeks, I only lost three pounds. But I can say I do feel my clothes getting a little looser. So you know you're not gonna lose inches and pounds at the same time. So I'm assuming that I'm losing inches in the midst of me losing um, pounds. So that's probably why I don't see the pound. And Tiffany said I'm scale watching. So I need to stop scale watching. But I have a scale watch. I only weigh in once a day. I mean once a week. So I mean I think that's average. But anyways, that's pretty much all I've been up to. I will do a video where I'm showing you guys my post body and my transition body because i'm transparent i don't want y'all to be like that's fake that ain't real because i'm just showing y'all the real i lost all that weight and i gained it all back plus some so now i'm about to go lose it all but i'm not gaining it back this time but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and start prepping our own um, teriyaki stir fry i am about to put this in the oven for blaze it is lamb i don't cook with lamb bad it's nasty um he does he likes lamb he's like slap he likes salmon he like all that stuff so that's what i am about to cook for him and we're about to have chicken stir fry so let me get into making this stir fry i just want to jump on the camera and say hey y'all
I've been missing the way you touch me, baby Kisses on my neck and the love you gave me mm -hmm. When I think about it, I go a little bit crazy It's gotta be more than this For you and not a coexist Help me, I wanna be more so y'all, this is the chicken. It is um pretty much done. Y'all just saw me cut it up. Yes, I used the cooking shears because that's the easiest way to cut up chicken to me. And I just seasoned it with some Greek seasoning, all-purpose Greek seasoning, uh, the Tony Shacharin, or Tony Shacharin, how you pronounce it. Uh, I didn't use no garlic powder or none of that stuff. You can use garlic powder and onion powder. I just omitted it. I omitted it or omitted it. How do you say it? I didn't add that into mine. But, um, yeah, that's all I did. So, I'm about to go ahead and show y'all the finishing steps. To be more than just a friend, I'm looking for closure. So baby, pull me closer. closer Help me I don't wanna be just the one I stand I'm looking for closure So baby, pull me closer I've been scrolling through the text messages you sent me Trying to fill the holes where you left me empty when I think about it, get a little emotional Knowing that we might never ever be close to loving Help me, I wanna be more than just a friend I'm looking for closure, so baby pull me closer So you guys, this is the final product. I still got the heat on a little bit because I added a little more broccoli. Um, I probably could have used a little bit more vegetables. However, um, I don't have more vegetables. I know they're about to copyright me, but I could have put a little more vegetables in there, but I don't have any more. I got some green peppers and stuff, but I don't feel like cutting it up. This is gonna suffice. I'm gonna serve this over some rice and we good to go. Yeah, that's simple, y'all. If you guys notice, if you guys notice, I did not use the packets that came in the stir fry teriyaki mix. You can use any vegetable that you like, but I bought that because it's already chopped up. It's already easy. It's already set to go. I just don't like the taste of their teriyaki sauce that's in the package, so I bought the um. Sweet Baby Ray's um, Sweet Teriyaki. I think it has a better flavor and it's a little more thicker than the regular base than this. This 
is a little more watery, where Sweet Baby Ray's is a lot more thicker, and I think it has a better flavor. I like almost everything Sweet Baby Ray's. Barbecue sauce, whole nine yards. But that's what we're serving for dinner. It's gonna be served over rice. Uh, Blaze will be eating his lamb, chop, whatever you wanna call it. Yeah. And that's it. Nothing special, nothing dramatic, nothing big. But did y'all just, good catch. Did y'all just see my little handsome son ride by? Ain't he handsome? He know he's fine. He get his braces in two weeks. He got a lot going on too. He got to have oral surgery. He got to have surgery on his knee. Um, got his braces. I hope he can get all this done before wrestling season. It's just a lot. But that's dinner, you guys. Um, I did make it to where I have extra. You get your braces in two weeks. Yeah. Why did he come out and come back in? What was that about? Yeah, you go in two weeks. They putting the top ones on. I didn't know that. Are you? Is that the shower? No. Oh, cause I'm about to take a shower. I'm working. Okay. I told you that. Yes, I did. But anyways, um, I did make it to where I put a little extra sauce in there. That way, like when you put it over the rice, you can have a little bit of sauce. If not, if there's not enough sauce, you can always add more to it. It, it just depends on whatever floats your boat. Um, how I have it right here is perfect. I just wish I had a little bit more vegetables and I will be a little happier. However, I don't, so I'm gonna make it work with what I got and call it dinner. Dinner, 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 chicken winner. Okay. So this is Blaze's dinner. His lamb chop or lamb steak or sh lamb shoulder, whatever it's called. Whatever it is, I don't like the smell of it. But he about to smash it. Smell like those trees. Blaze. You about to smash. You about to smash. You was about to get my glasses. Blaze. Where you, you got you got paper. You about to shred it. Lamb didn't smell like that when they made it at my mom. It didn't smell like this now. Probably the different seasonings. Right. I didn't put no see all I put was a little salt, no pepper on there. I didn't really put no seasonings on there. But I they didn't have regular lamb chops. I couldn't find the regular lamb chops. All I found was the lamb shoulder long. He is smashing. He is a fat, greedy dog. My puppy, or he, what, 11 point some pounds? He heavy. He about 11 and a half pounds, roughly, give or take. But he is super fatty. Like, he's like a big dog. I didn't think he was going to get past that. Oh, was that, was that good? Was that good, baby? Was that good? He like, yep, I want more. He looking at you seriously with no wag and tail at all. He man. he not he not even wagging his tail. Yeah, he wants some food. You like, not tell you not telling me thank you for getting you full and cooking you full. Right there, it's one right there. Oh, nope, I eat it. Never mind. I eat it. You right? I eat it. Still hot, ain't it? Still hot. Come on. Come on, let's go eat, baby boy. Here you go. Bon appetit. Oh, we not even chewing this shit. He just, he just swallowing. That you like girl move? He just swallowing. Okay. Okay. That that's his dinner. Let me um put ours in the bowl so you can guys can see how it looks. Um, plate it. He's here. That thing. Uh, yuck. You got some for tomorrow. Right.
rice in the bowl. And y'all, that's pretty much what it looks like. It's just white rice on the bottom. You can add more sauce to it if you want, because I have sauce in the bottom of the thing. Right, see? I don't have a lot. I can add more. But take a little bit of the juice. Put it in here. I wish we had more vegetables, but we don't. But y'all get the gist. And that's it. And Tiff ganked that one. But I didn't take it. I'm about to take a shower. But I just wanted to show y'all um, the final touches. It's like really simple and easy to make. One of the probably simplest, fast things to make. However, vegetables do cook down, and I forgot to take that into consideration. So I actually should have got the bag of stir fry plus like an extra bag of uh, peas and broccoli or the snap peas and broccoli, which I was thinking about it, but I didn't. But it's okay. It's okay. We're going to make it work with what we got because at least I have something to eat. So, I'm sure Blaze belly full, but he's still going to sit there and watch Tiffy because he wants to eat her food. Then, he smashed. Y'all, it's gone. Yeah, we talking about your greedy Blaze. We talking about your greedy butt. Never mind, I'll get my hair. I turned it on. Greedy. Hey, how, how come you gonna tell you turn around when I called you greedy? Greedy. And he's he licking the empty plate. Y'all saw how much food was on that plate. It was a lot of food on that plate. It wasn't that much. It was. He had breakfast, he had lunch, he had dinner, and he still got his little kibbles. He's a growing pup. He a greedy pup. Blaze. You fool? Drink some water. Drink some water. I feel like if you don't go on somewhere with that shit. Focus. There you go. He like, if you don't go on somewhere with that shit, I ain't done it yet. I want more food. But I'm not getting him no more food. Um, I didn't show y'all my new candle holders. It's like the pineapple one, but it's um just a solid one that's clear with the little confetti glitter type stuff. I got two. When I buy things like that, I like to buy them in pairs because things always look better in a pair of two. Um, especially with candle holders. I feel like one is working better than the other, but I think it's just maybe me. Maybe my brain just ain't coagulating, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Anyways, um, but that was my latest purchase at Bath and Body Works. Just two candle pillars. They were $49 or so I say $50 because you gotta pay tax or $52 after tax. But anyways, I am going to hop in the shower and I will be back in a minute because I'm gonna show you my, I guess my first video intro of, how can I call it? Body, I'm gonna show y'all how I actually look like physically look and call it sloppy call it messy i'm just being real and transparent i'm showing you guys what i'm working on what i'm trying to get back to but improve want to get back to where i was but better than that so i will insert um a picture clip so you guys can see what i am talking about but i'm also going to do like an open video to show you guys what my body looks like now and in whole so you can get an idea of the transition that I'm trying to go through to lose the weight. So, I'll be back, y'all. So, I have the, the stomach that I'm working on losing. I want to keep this. That way I won't have to get a Brazilian butt lift. But, I know when I lose the weight, most of this is going to go. I'm going to insert pictures so you guys can see how I looked before I gained all this weight back so I can show you guys where I'm actually trying to get back down to but more fit um I have cellulite in my thighs in the back of my thighs in my butt the arms is a little flabby and 
I'm not in the perfect shape, as you guys can see. But, so, this is my current state. Um, I am not gonna tell you guys where my starting weight at because I wanna wait later on to another video and um, give you all the information. I just wanted to do a, pretty much a check-in vlog weight loss one with y'all so you guys can actually see where my current you know appearance what it looks like now so when the transition throughout the videos when i do upload you guys can see that i where i started to where i'm gonna go um and i just felt that it was important for me to be upfront and transparent and completely honest with how i look because i am not no way perfect i got the belly I got cellulite. I got it all. Um, I'm not completely saying I'm just like completely just petrified with how I look. I'm not saying that. But I am not happy with how I look. Considering I was 120 pounds when I first moved back home to Michigan and then I put on triple the amount of weight compared to what I was. And the fact that I can't fit none of my clothes in my closet and I am not trying to spend any more money on clothes when I have a whole bunch of clothes in the closet already. Um, so I just decided to pretty much get back in shape. So what I've been doing so far is controlling what I eat. Um, I've only been intaking roughly 1200 calories a day. I need to get about, ugh, my legs are hurting. I need to get at least 64 ounces plus water a day and I've been falling a little short on that and I think that has a lot to do with why my body is not you know melting the fat as fast as I would like it to not only that I'm not um, in the gym actively working out so I think that has a lot to contribute to it to I, it's pretty much I need to rearrange how I'm doing things I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys I have not been eating like I should um it's when I say eating like I should I'm not eating my three meals and my two snacks or however you want to eat it like five times a day two small three main meals and two small snacks or however you want to look at it like that I have not been doing that I literally will probably skip the whole, whole two meals and then I'll eat one small meal and I don't think that is helping me any so I have to get on like this regimen to where I get in the habit of eating my breakfast lunch dinner breakfast snack lunch snack dinner maybe a light snack and drinking all my water and I've been finding that very difficult considering my hours that I work not only that is that when I'm at work I'm at work it's like I'm gun ho sometimes I don't even have time to stop to even eat half the time when I'm at work so it's almost like I'm like what the hell do I do do I um just garf down something real fast so I can be good for the rest of the day or what I don't, it, right now I have not figured it out but I need to figure it out quickly because I want to at least have this weight off at least 20 of the pounds by Christmas and by my birthday I want to have the weight completely all gone so hopefully within that time my birthday is not until April so here we are in September I have September to December to at least lose 20 of the pounds that I want to lose my total weight that I want to lose is 50 pounds so if I can lose 20 of the 50 pounds by December and then the rest of the pounds by my birthday, I'll be completely happy. Even if I lose more than 20 pounds by December, I will be completely happy. But I just need to really get on a regiment that's gonna help me in the process of losing weight. And I know one of them is intaking all my water, going to the gym or doing fitness workouts at home and um, eating my meals regularly. So I, might have to go back into the meal planning or meal prepping to help get me back jump started until I get into a better routine. However, when it comes to meal prep, meal prepping, I don't like to eat the meals after two days. Um, if it goes beyond two days, I will feel like I have to recook something else the next two days. And relatively speaking, it, I just don't have that much time in a day to cook every two days for the next two days 
that means when I get home from work at 7 o'clock at night, when I get up at 7, I don't get home till about 9 because I have to wait for my daughter to get off at 8. By the time I get home to cook the meals and prep the meals, I won't be in bed till about midnight. And I don't think that's going to actively help me neither. So I got to really figure out something quick. And I was even thinking about doing the, um, the mail order type foods and thinking that may help. But I have not uh, supplemented that into my income just yet. So that's not a check mark, but that might be an option. So right now I am struggling. I'm only down three pounds and it's been three weeks and I am a little discouraged. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I wish I can just jump up and just go have surgery, which that'll be the easy way out. And I can, however, it requires taking time off work. It requires around the clock care, post-op care and money. And Honestly, I don't really have the time to actually do that right now. So I'm going to try to do it the harder way, which is working out. So if you guys have any suggestions or ideas that can help me get on track better, then share them in the comment section below because your girl is struggling and I really want to get this weight off because it was easier for me to put it on than it is for me to lose it. And I just... Oh, I want to get back down to the petite, small, 120-pound knee drift that I was when I moved back home. But that was just that. Um, that was me just giving you the update on my first intent of losing weight. I have started. I started three weeks ago. If you haven't watched my previous vlog, you got you. That get, the get ready with me vlog that's the day that I actually started um, changing my calorie intake and actually physically starting to lose the weight and the first week I lost 3 pounds but after that it seemed like I've been fluctuating so I have not been losing any but it seemed like I've been gaining but not I don't I don't know it's just not it's not flowing and I don't see the numbers going down I want to see the numbers go down not up but that's my struggle and that's my story and that is what it is so if you guys can help me got suggestions just let me know I do know what I need to do however I just probably need help getting the kickstart I'm just gonna be honest I think once I get it kickstarted I'll be good to go and um, I really probably just need to start pulling out my weights that I do have at home to start working out at home if you guys notice the pole is gone we took the pole down because um, we needed the space so by the part of being so small and us having the puppy and all the puppy stuff and all that stuff everywhere, we had to remove the pole in order for us to be able to function. There was no functionality with the pole in the way. Hopefully we'll figure out something and I can get the pole back up. And in that case, that helps me too. It helps me with my core and my upper body. Um, and to the meantime, I'm going to have to figure out what I can do at home with the weights that I have or doing workouts on TV and watching my diet until I can get back into the gym and get my stuff together. So that's pretty much it, you guys. That is the update of Chunky Me. Just that, the Chunky Me. Um, disclaimer, I am no way, shape, or form putting anybody down who may feel that they need to lose weight or maybe overweight. This is strictly talking about me and nobody else. I am strictly pertaining to me. I am not happy and not content with how I'm looking, so I am fixing me. So, my intent is not to offend anybody. But my battery is about to die, so I am going to go ahead and just shop it up here because that's fine. Shut the up. So, you know what? On that note, I'll pick y'all back up tomorrow. Good night. My monster. Blaze. Blaze. Blaze, Blaze. Who you growling at? What you growling at, little monster? What you growling at, little monster? Little monster. Little monster. My little monster. See, he bites too. You little monster. Little monster, you little monster, little monster, little monster. I'm 
might be broken down, but I'm smiling. I keep my head up high, though I fail. Sometimes I get a bit emotion. 